Hello, welcome to Nate's Studio Desk, the place where you come ask questions and get helpful advice. We had a question about my last video using Rhino like SketchUp, and it brought up some really good points, and I wanted to go over those. So for this, we're going to draw a rectangle, type in extrude curve, and if you watched my other video, you'd notice that we did control shift and would move edges around or come and and type in split face and create edges that you could then manipulate either extrude by pushing the ball or moving by using the arrow. So the question was about how to get around splitting the face if there's another way that you can create edges on your surface. So to do that, what you can do is jump over to front view and for instance, if you wanted to make a door, type in those dimensions and you can hit control T, which is trim, and it will trim out that surface. Now, when you go and you want to manipulate this, you can, I think that's just the curve, yeah you want to make sure that it's the, the poly surface edge, you can now go in and manipulate that. So let's say I wanted to make the door taller. I can make the door taller. Let's go in here, I can make the door taller. Delete this curve for right now. Or wider. Um, and that's just an additional way instead of typing in split face and creating a split on the face which is an additional step you can just use the um, curve tool to get those edges on your surface i hope that answered your question and if you have any other questions please let me know thank you bye